So what does this mean for the future of the Middle East? The first is, of course, that it consolidates the role of the United States as the military power in the region. Because Israel and the other states in the region will continue to depend on American military aid, assistance, and weapons for the foreseeable future, just as they have done for so many years in the past. And it's fundamentally a military relationship that is at play here. It also leaves Israel as the only nuclear-armed state in the region. How many times was it mentioned in the last two months that Israel has almost 100 nuclear weapons? You know, it didn't figure as part of the debate. I mean, the obvious answer in all of this debate about Iran making nuclear weapons was to deal with the threat of nuclear weapons in the Middle East and the whole world. That was never a talking point for the administration.